We now know how to tolerate separate lines on a surface in one direction and also in perpendicular direction. We can do this using the straightness tolerance. But if I want to say that every point or any point on the surface, regardless of its location, should lie in the required tolerance zone, then I have to use the flatness tolerance. The flatness tolerance looks like this. Again, I have to point at my surface, and in the feature control frame, I have to put in the symbol of flatness, which looks like this. And here comes my tolerance zone of 0.1 in this case. So all that this says is that any point on this surface should lie between two parallel planes, with the distance between them being 0.1. So my real surface will look something like this. And the points here are lying everywhere. So my tolerance zone is these two planes, and any point should lie between them. So all these points. Clearly, this is a tolerance that is used only for flat surfaces. You cannot use it for a cylinder or for a round surface or a sphere. It has to be a flat surface. And just like the straightness, you cannot use reference or datum for the tolerance. You cannot say, I want my surface to be flat with reference to some other surface or some other element. It does not make sense. It's like your table. You want your table surface to be flat. If it's inclined or not parallel to the ground, this is not the problem here of the flatness tolerance. You just want your working surface to be flat. If you want it to be parallel to the ground, you have to use the parallelism tolerance, which is a different story. In practice, you will mainly use it for tolerating the reference systems. You start with a part and you say this surface or side of the part will be my reference system. The other surfaces have to be either parallel or perpendicular to it, but you have to tolerate the reference surface too. You don't want your reference system to be wavy, you want it to be as flat as possible. In this case, you will use the flatness tolerance. The other case where you would use this tolerance for other surfaces that are not reference systems is where you want to add more precision to another tolerance. So for example, you tolerated your surface with reference to another datum system. You said, I want it to be parallel to that system. So for example, you have here your object and this is your reference or datum A. And then you added here a parallelism tolerance. We'll explain it later but it looks like that. So you said, I want this surface to be parallel to A. And not only do you want it to be parallel to A, but you want to add more precision to it. You want it to be flat, but not only 0.1. You want it to be flat with a maximum deviation of 0.05. In this case, you will add your flatness tolerance for a more precise tolerance zone than the one that you used for your parallelism or perpendicularity or whatever other tolerance you used. We will talk later in more detail about this process of combining more than one tolerance for the same surface or same feature. But in most cases, these are the two main cases where you will use the flatness tolerance. Case one is for controlling the datum elements and case two is for adding more precision to your tolerated element. The same goes for straightness.